Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, I would like to encourage you to please share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A former Nigerian lawmaker in the Second Republic, an elder statesman, Dr. Junaid Mohammed has said, President Muhammad Buhari should resign because he cannot handle his own affairs. Not to talk of handling the affairs of 200 million people Mohammed told Sahara reporters that President Buhari is not physically and mentally fit to lead the country, a country like Nigeria. He accused the president's aides and associates of stage managing his health status and failing to open up to Nigerians the actual state of his health. Speaking with Sahara reporters on insecurity in the country, he said, being the president of the country, he doesn't have a private right to mislead the people of his country. If he is sick, the people of Nigeria are entitled to know. If he is unable to perform his duties as elected president, then the people have to know. And in knowing, Nigerians will have to be guided by what the Constitution says about the state of a president who is entirely infirm, who is unable to perform the duties of a president. Five years after my statement and public alteration with the president's presidency, it's now clear that the man is sick. He is not physically ill. He is not only physically ill, I beg your pardon. He is also mentally sick. He is completely mentally infirm. He is in no position to handle his affairs, not to talk of handling the affairs of 200 million people. Clearly, his handlers know he is not in control of the state. He is not even in control of his family affairs. So, it's now left for Nigerians, especially those of you who are young, to now determine what needs to be done. This is because we can't allow someone who is completely infirm, someone who is diagnosed with dementia, there is no difference between him and someone mad. Someone who has completely lost his senses. If Nigerians decide to keep quiet out of consideration for either religion or tribe, to allow this man to continue messing up this country and making us an international disgrace, then Nigerians shouldn't complain. But as far as I am concerned, the man has outlived his usefulness. It should be only right that he should be asked to go. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is, or as it were, considering the situation on ground? The presidency, or sorry, the president, I, be, I mean to say, is incapacitated from what people are already saying. The president cannot handle his own affairs from what this uh, elder statesman and Second Republic uh, lawmaker is saying. And when people like this 
you know, talk, it is because they know what is going on or they have, you know, um, privy to know one or two things about the situation of things in the presidency. One thing I think the presidency fails to understand is that they cannot continue to hide this thing. Nigerians are not fools. Over 200 million people and a handful of people think that they can, um, think they can, you know, um, twist the mind of so many people. It is not what it is, but we know what is going on and to a very large extent, you know, the fact that people are yet to hit the street or talk about it does not mean that people don't know what is going on. But however, the truth remains that the president is incapacitated and cannot handle his own affairs. I am echoing the words of Junaid Mohammed. But however, guys, how did we get to this place is a question that we should ask ourselves. How did we get to this state where we have a president or where Nigerians cannot even speak concerning the issues of the president? The constitution is clear on issues like this. If the man is sick and cannot carry out his own affairs, then he ought to resign. Until It's not until the North begins to cry and sing and shout, Buhari must go. It is not until Nigerians begin to shout, Buhari must go. But it is evident as it is right now that Buhari has to go. It is. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Virtually everything seems not to be working. The economy is in comatose. Nigeria is in recession. Insecurity has worsened. We have never seen or experienced it like this ever in the history of this country. Other aspects or factors of the country in the country, you know, is nothing to write home about. That it leaves everyone with a question of what is actually going on. How can a handful of people be muscling over 200 million people and hiding or pretending or giving false information to the citizens over the health status of the president. He has refused to address the nation. He cannot um, hold an interview, answer questions. He probably cannot even remember what is going on. His family seems to be in disarray. His wife, according to reports, is said to have relocated to the United Arab Emirates. Abandoning the Asorok for reasons best known to her. Other reports are saying that the man in the Asorok is not even Buhari, that he is dead and buried. What are we left to believe as citizens of this country? What do we, or what should we believe? Who should we even listen to? What should we even believe at this particular point in time? As citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, don't we deserve to know what is going on with the president? Don't we deserve to know what is happening with the president of our country? The lawmakers are also not helping matters. These are serious issues that need to be addressed, or else Nigerians are going to be taken for a ride and for a fool. But however, with the way and manner at which things are at the moment, it leaves us in a state of, it leaves us in a state of disappointment. And with the way things are going, a lot of people are already tired and probably seem to have given up on the issues that is ongoing in the country. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed and watch how things unfold. The North are already saying that Buhari must go. They are already saying that the man cannot handle his own affairs. And if all this is something to hold on to, then the country needs to act. The citizens need to come out and act. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning 
this particular news story as it were. Do you agree with what the man has said? Well, let's know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post to this post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.